Hello guys, another video from my car as every Saturday and today I want to give you kind of like a summer homework. So remember, not sure how it was in your school, but in my high school, usually in the summer teachers gave some assignments over the summer so we wouldn't forget how to read, how to calculate and stuff like that. So summer homework for you for Laravel, it doesn't mean that I won't shoot video, I still will. But if you want to do something productive over the summer to raise your career, here's an idea read Laravel documentation. And I know you have read the documentation. No, reread Laravel documentation in full. From what I remember, it's in total around 700 or 800 pages if you print it out in PDF, so that's huge. So you don't have to read everything. Choose your chapters, or maybe you will read everything. Pick your poison, so to speak. And what do I mean by read? Not just read the documentation, but look for gems, for new things that you didn't know before. Pretty sure you will find them because I find them almost daily for almost every video. So it happens to me. I work on some demo project and then I'm stuck on some feature how to write that in syntax. Then I go into docs and find that place and go, oh, you can read it in full with another chapter and you can do this feature this way with that syntax. Oh, I didn't know that. Let me tweet about it. And here's my second part of your homework. Tweet the gems that you will find. Twitter in general for Laravel community is pretty huge, both in terms of learning about Laravel, so you can follow me on Twitter and other Twitter superstars, including Taylor, Jeffrey, and others. I even have a list of people to follow on Twitter, and I will link them in the description below. But also you can contribute yourself, you can participate, you can tweet, and that could raise yourself as Laravel influencer and could potentially in the future land you some opportunities, jobs, and general more visibility in the community and you never know what may happen from that. To me it often goes this way that I tweet something from the docs and tweets from the docs with snippets from the docs, literally screenshots from there, are the most liked tweets because people didn't know and as I'm sometimes joking that people don't read the docs or they read only those parts of the docs if they get the specific link to specific section that answers their question so this summer, you may spend some time to just read the docs, pick the gems, tweet about them, and it's a win-win. You learn something, you share with the community, you get the exposure, you get opportunities. And I don't mean you should work more in your free time over summer. Admit it, you still scroll in your spare time through social media, maybe including Twitter that I mentioned, or it may be Facebook, Instagram, or whatever. So spend that time, like 10 minutes per day, just scrolling through Laravel documentation. It doesn't have to be a huge work, it doesn't have to be extra hours over the summer because our brain, of course, needs rest. But just as an idea for you, if you want to do something productive over summer, reread Laravel documentation. And if I see something in my timeline, I will gladly retweet your gems for more exposure. That's it for this time, and see you guys in other videos.